Today we're gonna to show you how to ride a unicycle and I would do it myself because I just got this really cool new Nimbus unicycle, but I busted my knee like the day that I got it. So we're gonna have Jonas do that and we've got the expert to teach us, Roland. Today we're gonna to show how to learn a unicycle. We've got Jonas here who's gonna be our guinea pig, presently does not know how, and we're gonna show him how to learn. He might not get all the way today because it takes you know, 10 or 20 hours probably in practice to really be able to ride down the street. But once you get that, you'll have it forever and you'll get better really quick. So we're gonna go over today just the main parts of how to get started riding a unicycle. First, you have to learn how to get up on the unicycle. Second, you have to learn how to ride forward on the unicycle. And third, most importantly, you have to learn how to fall off the unicycle because that's gonna happen a lot. So we've got the unicycle here. We've got a nice Nimbus, it looks like a 26 incher here. Um, any cheap unicycle is a decent one to start on. This is actually a pretty good one to learn how to ride. Um, you wanna get the seat height right. This is about belly button. Maybe it's a little short for a Jonas, so we might raise it a little bit. We'll see once we get him started. You can do this with a partner or you can just do it with a post. I'll show you how to do it with a partner. Um, and that's gonna be, you're gonna hold, hold my hand. Hold your hand. Yeah, and what you're gonna do is put um, one foot on the unicycle and it's, you want it back, right? You want it, yeah, about half to half or a little bit down. Okay. And then you want to watch this unicycle pedal yeah. with your eyes. Because okay. what you're going to do is you're going to jump up a little bit and you're going to put your foot on the pedal oh, like that. So you don't want it to go all the way up? The first thing that's probably going to happen is you're going to go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fine. Okay. Um, but you're going to have my hand for support. What you don't want to happen, this is very uh, important, you don't want to step down and have this pedal hit you in the shin. That's called a pedal bite, and that hurts. Um, so, uh, so be sure you look at it with your eyes and put your foot on top of that. That's gonna be your first step. So go ahead and hold the seat with your right hand. What a right hand. Yep. Hold, put your hand here. I'm gonna support you here and just pop up real you know slow. I'm gonna just pop real up, slow, so real slow. Go. Okay, I'm gonna go real slow. Yep. There you go. There, now you're up. Now it's gonna be squirrely, right? It can oh, squirt, shit. the unicycle can, can squirt out. Forward, backwards, right, left. But this is a good first step, is just getting you getting you situated. You've got good control already, so we can tell you've got you've got some good strength here. That's it. This is what exactly what you want to do. And you don't even need to look down. You can look up. Alright. Because looking down isn't gonna help. I got this. You've got you've got you've got good Woo! you've got a good start of strength here. So you're right, you be in good shape. <laughs> put your eyes on this and put your foot on that. Once you're up on the unicycle, you want to hold on to this and just get, try to get comfortable. Sit down on the seat, try standing up a little bit more, and just get a feel for what it's like to hold on and be on top of a unicycle. Okay, once you're comfortable, the next step is to start riding forward. Step two is riding forward. Let's try this one. And when you first start yep. riding forward, you're not gonna make it very far. You're probably gonna make it about a half a revolution. But you should let go of the post and just ride and you'll probably fall off. But it's okay. You're almost always gonna land on your feet. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. See now this is typical. He fell off. He didn't hurt himself. He didn't hit the ground. He just stepped off. That's the third thing you need to learn how to do is how to fall off a unicycle. And we do this all the time when we unicycle. Uh, and so learning how to fall off. And the other thing is don't worry too much about the unicycle. If you let it fall and drop, it's got this plastic protection here. It's got this plastic protection here. They fall all the time. They're built to do that. So it's gonna happen a lot. That's what it's built for. Um, scratch up your unicycle a little bit, it's all right. So if you have a partner who can hold your hand and let you walk along as you ride, that's helpful. But I think really the best way to really train your body, train your muscles how to keep balanced, is to just grab a point and then just ride off until you fall. Once you've gone off into space and just fallen, uh, you'll start to get better. So after falling initially, next thing you might make it one revolution. One. There is one revolution. He got his one yes! revolution. I got my first revolution. <laughs> and then you'll make it two and three. There you go. Faster, 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 faster. You don't want to go too slow. Because if you go too slow, it's actually really hard, even for me as an experienced rider, to stay, to stay up. Let's ride a little faster. Ready, set, go. There you go. Yep. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> so a lot of people you see with videos, they show like going along a fence row. Why just free riding off and not using a fence? Right, so I, I think that when you, when you hang onto the fence all the time, you're not really training your muscles as well. You're cheating too much. And so your muscles aren't learning how to, how to go forward. 
The fence will help you get up and it will help you uh, uh, sit and get comfortable sitting. And if you want to ride it along there a little bit to get used to that, that's fine. But I think if you really want to train your muscles, you're better off trying and failing um, than, than cheating like that. One of the mistakes that people make a lot when they're riding is uh, they look down when they're riding. They're looking at their feet like that's somehow going to help them go around in circles. And it doesn't. You want to look out forward. So you don't want to do this. You don't want to go look like this and look down because that's not going to, that's going to be more difficult. You want to sit up straight and look forward and ride. That is so annoying. I obviously have a lot more practice to do before I can even get close to what these guys can do. But if you want to learn more about the science behind unicycling and even why people choose to unicycle with different size of unicycles, check out this cool video here that Rob did right there, there. Good, yeah, nice. Right this there. one. Check I, this I, one. I there, this right. this one. Right there. Right there. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. And also, if you are trying to learn how to unicycle, we really want to hear your comments and how your progress is going. So please put your comments in the comment box below. Where? Here. There. Down there. And also send in your videos if you have any. That would be really awesome because uh, I don't want to be the only one who sucks at this. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.